So Elon Musk, as in being an absolute piece of shit, has just released a new AI model. It's called Grok4 Fast, and this AI model right now is available 100% for free on Open Router. The most important thing about this AI model is this AI model has a context window of 2 million. Well, I don't believe anything that Elon Musk says, so let's just dive deep and test this AI model and see how good or bad this AI model is. So to access this AI model for free, you can just go to Grok4 Fast, and we can see this AI model is available 100% for free. Here's official post from XAI and you can see Grok for Fast is available for free on Open Router and on Versal AI Gateway for limited time. So you can just go ahead right now and start using it absolutely for free. And even if you want to use the paid version, the cost is only $0.20 per million input tokens and $0.50 per million output tokens. So to test this AI model, we're going to use it through Open Router and we're going to use Klein as our AI coding agent, which is completely free and open source. So in this video, we'll test this model in different scenarios. We'll give it different tasks and see how this model actually performs. We'll start from an easier task like using an existing project and then maybe like building an authentication system and then we'll move towards more complex tasks so before you start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well all right so first make sure that you have downloaded and installed visual studio code and after that make sure that you have installed client as well and after that make sure that you have provided your open router api key so you can just like go to open router sign up and then provide your api key in here and after that from model section just choose croc for fast and then choose the free version so that's what you need to do and right now you can see i have already set up a nexus project so i'm going to use this existing nexus project and then build an authentication system in this existing nexus project so to build an authentication system for my nexus project i'm going to use clerk clerk is basically a platform where you can build authentication systems so what i'll do i'll simply just go to dashboard and now i can just create an empty project inside clerk so right now you can see i'm just creating a new project i'm just giving it this name and we are going to just use google you can add any other sign in providers like apple so right now we can see we have apple and google both so i'll just click on create application and now what i'll do i'll simply just copy this prompt because clerk based on your selection whatever you have selected it creates a prompt for you the most important things in building a clerk authentication system the first step is you need to install this package the second step is you need these environment variables these are basically your keys that you provide as your environment variables inside your project and after that you need to add this line of code inside your middleware.ts and then you need to update your layout.tsx file and then add this code so this is kind of it this is how easy and simple it is to integrate clerk inside your existing project so right now you can see you can just maybe choose react or astro or expo or ios whatever sort of application you are developing you can just like choose that but in this case we have a nexus project so i'll just simply just select that and then after that i simply just click on this copy prompt and now what i can do i can just like come back to client and i just like paste that prompt in here so you can see this is a very detailed prompt that clerk has provided us so this prompt contains the complete detailed guideline that your ai code editor needs to integrate clerk inside your project i'm going to provide the actual real values of environment variables as well so it can just like directly use these actual real values rather than just using like the placeholders so what i'll do i'll simply just copy these environment variables from here and then i'll just paste them in here once everything is done i'll simply just press enter and now client will start working it will start using rock ai model and right now you can see it is showing this 2 million of context so that's amazing and right now you can see it wants me to run this command to install the clerk package for nexus so i'll simply just press on that and now you can see it is installing clerk nexus package now it has just created the environment variables and then after that you can see it is updating middleware.ts so here you can see inside that guideline the first step was to set up environment variables the second step is to add this code inside middleware.ts so let's just go back and now you can see it has already updated layout.tsx so it has already just updated layout.tsx and basically just pasted this code inside there and once everything is done now it wants me to run this project before we run this project let's just make sure that we have added our original environment variables in here so you can see i have just replaced my original environment variables in here and after that i'll simply just go back to client click on run command npm run dev and now it will just run our project and let's just see if in first attempt it has like integrated everything and if everything is working as expected so right now you can see our project is working on localhost 3002 
and our project originally i think it is compiled let me just see if there is any error right now it is compiling there is no error so far let's just wait for it to compile i think there is no error perfect okay so there are two buttons on top the one is sign in the second one is sign up so let me just click on sign up okay perfect right now you can see we have got our clerk sign in page i'll simply just click on sign in with google and just choose my email and perfect amazing i am signed in already that's that's amazing you can see we have our like proper clerk widget in here for manage account to sign out so that means the authentication is working perfectly and clerk has been integrated into our project perfectly with just one simple prompt okay so perfect the first task it has completed that's amazing now let's just move to the second task and try to create a front end design and then see the design capabilities of this ai model so let's just start with creating a dashboard and once we create a dashboard then we'll create a landing page as well so let's just start creating a dashboard so once user is logged in then it should like open a dashboard page that dashboard page should not be accessible if user is not logged in so based on this logic let's just create a dashboard and then see what sort of design this AI model will create so I'm just giving it this simple prompt now I want you to create a dashboard design this dashboard should only be accessible if user is logged in please create dashboard so i'll just press enter and now let's just see if it can create this dashboard design in first attempt so right now you can see client just fetched content from this particular url to understand its documentation and now it is already working on our dashboard design it has just updated middleware.ts so let's just wait for it to finish writing code and finish creating this dashboard design okay so now apparently it has just completed this task and now it wants me to run this command to access my dashboard so let me just click on that and now right now you can see this is the dashboard that it has created this is just like nice simple dashboard let me just sign out and try to access dashboard so if i just like click on t a s h p o r d so you can see if i'm not logged in if i just click on this slash dashboard if i just like try to access that particular page it will then prompt me with this login screen this was exactly what i wanted that's perfect i'll simply click on that and then log in using google so that is amazing perfect and now you can see i can access my dashboard right now perfect that's amazing so all of these are just basic simple tasks that almost every single wipe coder just does while they're developing something so now let's just like try to create a high-end landing page and then see how this model actually performs if you want to create a high quality design for a landing page i'll provide it a reference image as well and then i'll ask you to like replicate that landing page a to z so this is a landing page that i really liked so i think let's just like try to replicate this design the only complex thing about this design is this particular thing is this particular element that it has i am 100 percent sure like thousand percent sure that none of these ai models can actually recreate this entire design because this particular design is very custom design and it has like proper ui animation so i'm sure that it cannot copy that but what it can copy is just the overall landing page structure so let's just hope that it can just like even copy the overall landing page structure also it cannot create of course this kind of like gifts that are added in here so let's just not expect that we can replicate this landing page 100 let's just like expect something very basic so what i'll do i'll simply just take a screenshot of this entire landing page and after that i'll just provide that screenshot and then see how it can actually replicate that learning page by the way just to take the screenshot i am using this chrome extension which is called go full page so you can just like download that chrome extension and then you can use that to take a screenshot of a whole page so now you can see i have just provided this screenshot what i'll do i'll provide that link as well that url as well so you can directly fetch content from that url so let's just give it a simple prompt so this is a very simple prompt now please create a landing page please replicate this landing page as it is copy the entire design content color scheme and fonts after that i'll simply just press enter and now let's just see how it will perform the good thing about this ai model is this is a multi-model ai model so that means it supports the image input as well so that's amazing unlike quen and kimi k2 those kind of ai models they usually don't support image as an input so that's one problem with 
those kind of AI models. So if you are looking for something like in this price, I think this is one of the best model out there right now. So right now you can see client first fetched our content from this URL that we just provided for that landing page. And now you can see it is updating our page.tsx file and then it is creating basically the entire design for that landing page. So I think it will just like copy maybe 50-60% of the design. Of course it cannot recreate most of the UI elements. So let's just see how it has created this landing page. So let me just run this project proceed while running right now you can see the project is being compiled and this is what it has created this is very simple and basics this is like an absolute simple design it's not even 10 percent of what we need so yeah maybe a better prompt could do a better job could do a like good job so this a model is good enough for basic coding task speed wise and performance wise it's really good i'm really really impressed and i think at this cost which is like 0.20 dollars per million input tokens and 0.5 dollars per million output tokens at this cost it does a really good job at least it's better than quen 3 and also it's a multi-model ai model that means it does support the image input as well so that's amazing so this a model performs really really good in most of the coding tasks maybe not the best model for web design but i think using better prompt can actually enhance its performance in design as well so just give it a try right now you can see it is absolutely free to use so just go ahead give it a try and let me know in comments section what you think about this AI model i see you next video bye bye